Are you guys ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> so I just really want to make sure everyone's ready. <clears throat> What's up guys? My name's Megan. Welcome to Treat Yourself. Today we are going to be making a Snickers cheesecake. Hold on, let me say it again. A Snickers cheesecake, are you kidding? So we're gonna make Snickers cheesecake today. To make this, you're going to need cream cheese, eggs, butter, we're using Oreos for the crust, brown sugar and white sugar, sour cream, half and half, uh, salted peanuts, we're gonna use, of course, um, mini Snickers, and we're gonna use some melting Ghirardelli chocolate discs, are they discs? Wafers, melting wafers, some chocolate. I think that's all the ingredients. <laughs> If I forgot one, I'm sorry. But anyway, that's what you're gonna need. Um, and what else you're gonna need is taking shots, right? This is treat yourself. We're gonna take shots. No one's looking at me except you with a weird ass face. <laughs> we got four shots. We got four people in the room today. <laughs> Welcome to the person who didn't feel like being on camera today. Guess what? Sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the crimes that have been committed here? <laughs> Just puts it back down and walks away? I guess that just means you have to take it. Oh. You're right. Oh. Yes, you do. So do you guys. <laughs> oh. oh. Teehee. <laughs> Let's make a cheesecake. <laughs> so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're going to make our cheesecake crust. I don't know why I'm looking directly into these. That's like not necessary. We're gonna make our cheesecake crust with Oreos. So we're gonna do like a chocolatey crust. So I'm gonna put approximately 24 or five Oreos. I'm not gonna count, I'm gonna count. Probably about like half of this. This is a family size package of Oreos. We're gonna use about half of them. Throw that shit all into the food processor. We're gonna crush them up. Okay, um, that's good. Um, and then I have four tablespoons of butter, melted, liquefied, the, fucking, the bowl is hot. <laughs> hot bowl. We're going to pulse the butter into it as well. So then you're gonna grab a springform pan. You need a springform pan to make a cheesecake because it's like fancy and it opens up. Look at that. We're just gonna dump this in there. Get it all in there. And then you're gonna smash it down and you wanna like put it up the sides as well. And also cause we're gonna put like some drizzle layers on top of this shit. So you just, you want the crust up the sides. I can't really explain it to you further than that, right? You wanna talk about you wanna Thank talk? you for, don't bring it up. I know what you're gonna say and don't do it. You wanna talk about No, I don't wanna talk about it. It has nothing to do with this. Talk about the what? You're leaving the audience hanging. Yeah, I'm not talking about it. Talk about it. I'm not talking about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. There was a roach in my shoe. That's what she wants me to talk about. There was a live roach in my shoe. That's not what you talk about when you're making That's what I said. I told her the story earlier. I was like, oh, I had this horrible traumatic moment. I had a fucking live roach in my shoe. And Sierra's like, oh, you should talk about that when we film the episode tonight. I'm like, should I talk about a live roach in my shoe while I'm making a cheesecake? I'm not saying anything more about it than that. Okay, and everybody write in the comments, was this good content? Do you want to hear the story? Should I tell content. the story about the roach in my shoe further? Let's let the people decide if Sierra is a fucking weirdo or not. Um, we're gonna bake this in the oven, preheated to 350 for about eight minutes. And then we're going to move on to making our filling. And what we're gonna need for that is a shit ton of cream cheese, approximately. And by shit ton, I mean 32 ounces. I stacked them up obnoxiously, honestly, because Sierra asked me to. So we're gonna use all of this. Uh, you want it softened before you start mixing it in because otherwise it's just gonna be impossible to do. Half a cup of sour cream, and then we're using a cup and a fourth of sugar. I'm gonna be using an electric hand mixer for this, and you're just going to combine it all until it is creamy and um, combined. All right, so once you got that, we're gonna add three eggs. And then you're gonna mix those in too. <laughs> okay, so now that it's like ribbony, thick, delicious, look at that. That is your cheesecake mixture, literally. So from here, we're just gonna chop up some mini Snickers and fold them in. So what I'm gonna do is kinda cut them into fours. Actually, I'm gonna cut them into more than fours. I'm gonna cut them in six so that we can fold them into our cheesecake mixture and have little bits of Snickers chocolate bars. We have all of our, hey. uh, okay, well, that's where it was supposed to go anyway. All of our Snickers chopped up into cute little pieces. We're just going to fold them into our cheesecake mixture. Folding shit into mixtures is just so satisfying to me. I don't know what it is. All right, and that, that's your cheesecake filling. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> the other 
that one died too. What are you people doing coming here with batteries and lights that are about to die? No, they were full. When we you started. people, this is just scary. her. Um, so here's the thing. We're gonna put this on here. We're just gonna pour it in. It is so thick. Oh my goodness. It's a really weird way to like put it in there, but I'm trying to make it so the camera can see. I'm like, who pours it like this? Oh, and then I have my little thing. Hold up. Just gonna spread it evenly. All right. And that is your cheesecake right there. Now that it looks beautiful. We're just gonna pop this in the oven for an hour. And um, I'm gonna clean off the sides a little bit with my hands like an animal. I'm gonna put a cookie sheet underneath it just in case to catch any drippage. Um, but I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It's still preheated to 350. And I think I have my, yeah, but I have my cookie sheet under there already, ready to go. Pop that in there, set my timer for an hour. What even was that? Oh, it was the water from my hands because I just went to my hands. Hi, Luna. Luna has something to say about this. So we are gonna set the timer. What's for wrong? Now. Luna. Hi. Anyway, we're putting our cheesecake in the oven for an hour. We have some other things to do meanwhile, so we will be back in less than an hour. It'll be two seconds for you guys anyway, but put it in for an hour. <laughs> Great. Stupid. Anyway, so once your cheesecake has been baking for an hour, it will look beautiful as fuck. <laughs> look at that. Anyway, your cheesecake will be beautiful. She bakes for an hour. You take it out. Great. Put it to the side. Uh, we honestly put this in the freezer for a little bit for it to set up. So the next thing we're going to do is make our caramel topping. And to do that, you're going to need one cup of packed brown sugar into a saucepan. You're going to need four tablespoons of butter and a half a cup of half and half. Mix it all into your pan. Yeah, we're just gonna put it on the burner and whisk it until it gets thick. Okay, so you're gonna get everything onto the burner. You're gonna heat it on medium um, until the sugar melts and then this is gonna turn into a liquid and the brown sugar, it's gonna make it look beautiful immediately, like literal caramel topping. Um, it's gonna foam up a little bit and then you wanna let it boil just for a bit until everything is completely liquefied Mind you, this is not like a true caramel. It's truly, if you were making a caramel caramel, you just put sugar, like dry sugar into, this is called all of a sudden, I forgot, a Sauce pot, pan. a saucepan. But this is kind of like an easy, like a quick caramel, kind of just butter sugar cream. You're gonna let it liquefy and thicken. It's gonna be beautiful and wonderful and amazing. I'm sorry if I'm like totally in your brain. You just, are. I'm sorry. Cool. Anyway, so you're gonna whisk consistently. It's already getting thick. You probably can't tell, but I can tell because I'm doing it, so. Oh, she boiling a little bit. All right, we're gonna multitask a little. We're gonna chop up some peanuts. Stir this a little, all right? <laughs> chop up some peanuts for our little peanut caramel topping. And honestly, an undecided amount. I kind of just eyeballed this. You know, each shaker bar has an exact amount of peanuts. Are you serious? Wait, really? Is that a real fact? Yes. How many? How many? How many peanuts? I need you to look it up and tell me immediately. All right, chopping nuts is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's a good thing you're a lesbian. Do straight people chop nuts? You said it's a good thing I'm a lesbian. Yeah. Are straight people out here just like chopping nuts? Like nuts, you know, like 16. I thank you, I really understood that part of it. I really thank you so much. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate the over explanation. 16 peanuts. 16. Per Today I learned guitar. being a lesbian means you don't like penises and there's 16, 16 As a lesbian, peanuts. you didn't know you weren't supposed to like penis? I didn't know that. Actually, Nyja just told me. <laughs> anyway, back to chopping nuts. So once your caramel is thickened and beautiful, it's not gonna be like super duper thick. It's more like a sauce. We're gonna just pour it on top of our cheesecake. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, you're gonna pour it on top of your cheesecake and then we're gonna take your chopped peanuts and just pour them into the caramel mixture. We're actually gonna take a little spoon and just kind of like mix some of them around a little so it's a little bit more evenly distributed. So once your peanuts and your caramel is ready and poured onto your cheesecake, I'm actually gonna ahead and take this and pop it into the freezer so that the caramel can set up. As you can see, it's very 
liquidy right now. But our next step is going to be to put a hardened milk chocolate layer on top so we need our caramel to be set. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this in the freezer for a little bit so that it can firm up. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is the last step of our cheesecake, which is we're going to make our chocolate, like our hardened chocolate coating for the top. Uh, so what I'm gonna do for this is take out our pre-made cheesecake that I made earlier today. Wow, oh my God, that's crazy. She's here, she's ready. I'm going to take some of our melting chocolate little wafers. I'm gonna start with one bag and see if that's enough. But what I have here is some water that I'm going to boil. I'm gonna do like a double, double boiler method with the glass bowl on top. I'm just gonna put my glass bowl on top of my hot water. I'm gonna do the entire bag. Feels right. I'm gonna stir it completely until it's fully liquid and then pour it on top and then it will harden and be amazing. It's gonna take a second for them to liquefy but the boiling water underneath is gonna melt them. We have our chocolate is fully melted, ready to go. Beautiful liquidy. I wanna pick it up, I'm kinda scared. This bowl, yeah, it's just too hot. And I'm going to just, I'm just gonna pour it on. <laughs> this is stressful. Get the spreads. Wait, why does this look beautiful? The way I'm still holding the bowl, it's hot as shit. I want like a little cute drippage on the side because that's adorable. Ooh. I don't know, I see it start to, to harden on the sides. You better hurry. Shh, shh, shh. Stop, I've been hurrying this whole time. There it is. There it is. That's kind of cute. That's a Snickers cheesecake right there. So now that we have got our chocolate poured on, we have a slice cut. The beautiful thing about this chocolate, this like certain Ghirardelli, 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 however you want to say it. These melting chocolate wafers, they will like harden up like pretty, like they'll harden up pretty quickly. You can chill it in the fridge for a minute or two, but if you just leave it out, especially if your cheesecake is chilled already and it's cold, it's gonna harden up. Um, so we have a hardened top layer on ready to go. We have a slice cut. I'm dying to try this, so we're gonna do it. Y'all, wow. Tastes like a Snickers bar? Mm-hmm. Oh my God. All right, y'all have to try this immediately. Get ready. I'm so excited for this. This is amazing. Ooh, right. The crunch from right? the bottom. And the top layer, the crunch in the oh top layer, like really the makes all the difference. The is so good. And the texture of the actual cheesecake itself is perfect. <laughs> right? Damn, dude. I'm honestly worried. <laughs> worried? Because I feel like the company who made Snickers is gonna come after you. That caramel peanut chocolate, like you nailed it. It tastes like a Snickers bar plus cheesecake. Oh, it is really like the magic shell. Yeah, okay. it is, it really is. Crunch. <laughs> no, but that's my favorite cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory is the Snickers bar one. Wait. This is so much better. First of all, this actually tastes thank like a you. Snickers bar. Second of all, wait, this is how you really make it look like the Cheesecake Factory. Hold up, bring that plate over here. They do a little bit of, a little bit of. There we go. And then they charge you $17. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do though. And they put a little little but dollop in the front too. This one actually tastes like a Snickers bar. The other one is just like, ah, oh, it's chocolate, it's caramel. So are you saying this is? Yeah. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. That sucks. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm very proud of this one. The Snickers cheesecake. I'm, I'm appalled. I'm beside myself, honestly. Um, that's really all I gotta say about that. Anyway, that's it. Bye. <laughs>